everybody, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now, before we move on and do any projects today, we're going to talk about that modded series that I posted yesterday. Now, there was uh, some concern in the comments saying like, RIP Jevin's LP, oh no, you're getting bored of vanilla. That is not the case. Um, I just wanted just a tiny bit of variety. That's all. Um, so for example, you know, maybe we post a couple episodes of the LP and then we do a modded video. Now, I want you to know that I love this series with like all my heart and I put a, I put a lot, I put a tremendous amount of time into these videos. So I want you to know and I want all the fans of this series and the channel to know that this is 100% my main focus. Sometimes we go, might go a week or two without even having a modded episode because I want to post this video instead. So don't worry, we're going to keep having fun and kicking butt and enjoying vanilla Minecraft. So um, I have been testing this mending enchantment a little bit more. I have to say that this thing is completely overpowered. <laughs> There's just no other way to put it, man. I mined from here all the way down to the very end of this, which is 140 blocks. Uh, in total, I went from top to bottom counting. It's about 415 blocks total, give or take some areas that didn't have blocks. But uh, the everything in my inventory was mined as is in my inventory. It was completely empty when I started. So with that being said, my pickaxe does not have any durability missing. This thing is completely overpowered. And just like, I mean, that's like 400, even with Unbreaking 3, I'm not missing any durability, guys. This thing is crazy. So, with that being said, maybe it needs to be tuned down a little bit. Who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know. Oh, diamonds. That, that, that works. I'm okay with this. That was pretty awesome. So, even now, I mean, as I'm mining, you can see that my stuff is just, you know, it's refilled. And I found 33 diamonds and 150 blocks. Holy crap. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go to move on. Okay, guys, I just got back from strip mining. Ended up going about a thousand blocks in total, right? I, I have to say that mending is completely overpowered. No durability missing. Inventory is completely full of everything. I've got over a stack of diamonds. It was a very, very good trip. And um, my pickaxe is good to go. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started with today's projects. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to be working on, three, two, one. All right, so the first thing we're going to be working on today is this area that we started on last episode. I've uh, removed all the water, and I added vines, but I think I'm going to remove whatever vine is adding this right here. It's like that side piece. I don't think it's that one. I think it's this one up here. No? Why is it like that? I don't know why it's like that. Um... And if I get rid of that, that just gets rid of everything. Huh, that's weird that it does that. Anyways, uh, there was a great comment in the comment section. And that the person that said the comment said that I should make this look more like an actual pond. And I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't like it that much. Was because of how it looked. Uh, it was very, you know, very flat, straightforward. And we're going to make it look a little better. Then we're going to work on the hidden room feature, uh, which we'll do. So... Let me get up here. There we go. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this just a little bit flatter. There. <clears throat> so, I'm thinking just like, you know, just this much. Probably just like that, actually. Yeah, because, um, well, we should probably put one right there, too. Because this up here will be removed. Then that'll flow in, and then we'll have a water here and a water here. So, what I'm thinking about doing for our hidden area, um, I should probably pick a spot where I can actually go down. Here, let me put this in, and then I need to just make a, a quick floor, something like that. That'll work. And uh, maybe we will go down one more. And let me just make a quick floor here. So we're going to get a floor in here. I have no idea what I'm actually going to put in here just yet. But uh, this will be a good start. Let me get these out of my inventory. There we go. Keep placing them everywhere. Okay. Um, so this is where we're going to go in. It's going to be covered in vines. But one thing we're going to do to make sure that this is, like, super hidden is instead of 
putting a sign right on the edge to where it's a little bit visible. We are going to place another block here and place a sign there. So the water is even going to flow into this. And it's going to be, uh, you know, just a little bit more visible. Or a little bit more invisible, I should say. Fill that in. Get rid of that. So that'll make that a little better. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, fill this in really quickly and see what that looks like. Now, we need ideas, guys, for what that room down there could be. Let me know what you think I should make it. I, I honestly have no idea. I mean, obviously, I could think of something, but that's... Uh, so if you're standing, like, back here, you really wouldn't even notice that. That works out pretty well, then. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill this all back in really quickly. That's how we go. And then we'll remove the water. Let me get rid of this, because we had a spot there before. You. And... Is that all filled in? Okay, all filled in besides over there. So there we go. And then once the vines dripped down a little bit more, yeah, you can't even really notice that over there, especially... I mean, the only way you're going to notice is if you're standing right here. And if you don't know that's there, dude, you're never seeing that. That's going to work perfect. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that flowing back in. There we go. And we'll just kind of fix this up really quickly. So, put that there. Put this here. So, whenever we want to go in there, we'll just be like, bam, jump over here. And then jump down. And that's how we'll get in and out of there. We can either get in right there, or we could make a way to get in and out. Uh, like we said we were going to make a secret door over here. We could still do that idea. That'll work just fine. Um, it really just depends on what we do down there. But I think, I think that's going to work pretty well, actually. So, like, imagine you've never seen that hole there before. And you're like, oh, looking around. This is cool. This is cool. I mean... Even looking right at it, it just looks like a piece of dirt is missing. Uh, yeah, that's going to work awesomely. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. I also took your guys' suggestions. I know I said this before, but you guys said you wanted vines up here. So vines look really good there as well. So I think it looks quite nice. And that turned out really well. Okay, guys. So I have uh, I have done a little bit of work over here. I um, extended this out a little bit. Today we make another room. So, um... I'm making another room because I have been waiting to make one for a super long time <laughs> because our another has been broken. So with that being said, I have a pretty solid idea about what I want to do. I want it to be a connection onto this room. So what we'll do is we'll come in and go this way. So we're going to extend it out just like so. We'll probably do it, uh, let's see, three, two, three, and then we'll probably go two, three. Like right, probably like right there, I think it'll be a pretty good spot. So, um, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to have an add-on to this. Uh, and even, even though I know that that's the train station, it's going to look awesome, I think. So, um, basically what we're going to do is just re, you know, rebuild the train station. Not rebuild the train station, but uh, um, build it all the way across. And then we'll do the bridge and everything as, you know, as the train station would have looked. Uh, making an exact replica because this is a part of that and uh, let me grab you so there we go there we go something like that and this will all be you know blocked in etc etc um, and then when we get over there we'll be able to make another portal I'm so excited to be able to finally make another portal because our nether has been so screwed up that I haven't had a chance to even really work in the nether at all. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do once we get over there. We could just make a nether portal, but I was also thinking about maybe making a little bit of storage over there. Um, maybe just like uh, for nether blocks, nether brick, nether things like that. Or we could make like a deep storage area uh, for cobblestone and things like that. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a little speed up because I haven't done one of those in a little while. So enjoy the speed up.
Okay, guys, I have done a bunch of work. Hope you enjoyed that little speed up. Um, so, first thing I did was extended our platform all the way across the uh, thing there and finish that all up. Then got everything on the inside finished, so now we can walk across no problem. I actually really like this. This turned out really nice. I, I think it's really cool. Um, and then I had to terraform the wall over there to make it look good. Um, there is one other thing I think I'm going to need to do, though. Uh, I terraformed down the side here, just making it like random increments. I think I'm going to need to go back through and put grass, like a piece of dirt, piece of dirt, piece of dirt, like down through there. But that's that'll be for another time. So now... Um, I am out of wood. I need to get more wood and a couple more pieces of material. Uh, we don't need a lot because I don't know if I'm going to do storage or not. I haven't decided yet. But once I get that wood, then we can build our portal room uh, and start on that. And that'll be pretty exciting. Now, the thing that is a problem I know for a fact is going to happen is I have portals out there in the desert. And I know for a fact this portal will link to those portals because they're so close. So what I think we're going to have to do is make this portal, uh, light it, go through those portals out there, and then make the new portal in the nether to this coordinates. So um, we'll get started on that in just a second. I just need to get more wood. Okay, so I've got the room dug out here. So the first thing that we are going to do is uh, I'm going to do the portal in a clever way this time. So rather than using wood back here for the portal, uh, or, you know, making a new portal somewhere else, I'm going to make the portal on the wall here and connect it to that. Just like so. Ta-da! That actually looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Obviously, this isn't finished. I need to still get some more material, but... Uh, so what we're going to do is we'll light that portal, and so this will be our nether room. And we'll need to get some more leaves over here and everything. And just, you know, kind of tidy up the area. But we have to hit a quick F3 here. So I'm going to get these coordinates uh, jotted down really quickly. So we are at uh, 604. Divide that by 8. That gives us 75.5. Uh, uh, the X core, the Y coordinate doesn't matter. And then we are at negative 570. Divided by 8, that is negative 71. So we have our coordinates um, for this portal. So now what we need to do is we need to grab these guys. And I'm going to break this because I don't want to be going slow. want to hit her going fast. Now, uh, so I have the portals over here are kind of, uh, kind of out of whack. And one of them didn't work at one point and so I had to make a new one but it generated a new one itself and so I've got two portals I've got two portals all right uh so let's hop off here let me make a quick spot for the horsey the horsey there we go and um I'm going to actually I don't really need to do that um hmm all right I'm gonna break this I gotta go through this one And then we have got to lag. That was bullcrap. That was bullcrap too. There we go. Did I get it here? Dumb. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to break this portal. And even though my pickaxe is like efficiency five, it's still really slow. I just need to get like 14 pieces really quickly. So after I break these, this should not link back together anymore. I don't think it will. I don't know. We're going to go to those exact coordinates and make the new portal. I'm really, really hoping that these sync together. They should. I don't see why it wouldn't, you know. Uh, what coordinates are we at right now? We're at 50 and 47. So those new coordinates are actually, you know, a decent amount of away. I don't see why they wouldn't link together. Uh, so we'll just finish grabbing these. I'm also glad to be getting away from the edge there, too. So, okay, so let's see. We got to go this way to negative or to 75, which is right here. And then we need to go to negative 71, which is this way. 
negative 71 which is right here so let me do speed mining dude this is I love breaking this you know what the sad part about this is is I'm using like a super good amount of durability right on this thing oh it is soap touch I guess that wouldn't matter I was gonna say I could just mine mine that right there and just be like BAM but we can we could literally probably just repair our pickaxe just with this right here now I wonder if it would repair the other one I and ne I never tried that 61 so it didn't go up any now I wonder if we put that in our offhand if it'll do anything oh it is repairing that that is freaking OP so all that XP and that, that put that up to from 61 to 89. That's crazy, dude. Anyways, portal time. Portal time. So, grab all that. We should be close enough to where it doesn't matter. There, there, there. Oops. Uh, well, let me place the blocks down. There we go. There we go. There we go. Please be in my room. Pretty please with a cherry on top. Nailed it. All right, so now we have a linked portal to the nether. Fantastic. Awesome, guys. Let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, get this all cleaned up, and we're going to move on. Okay, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it was kind of a short one. I apologize. The next one will definitely be longer. Uh, we're kind of in between where I want to do other projects, but at the same time, if I start the new project, it's going to take like a whole other episode. So <laughs> it's it's like it's like one of those weird in between episodes. But uh, I hope you enjoyed, nevertheless. And uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day as always. And once again, rest assured, this series is not going anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a good one. This is I, Chevin. Peace out.